Hello everyone, welcome to another HP Gaming's Game Link video. Today we're going to be making our way through decks of cards, fighting monsters and doing all sorts of weird and wonderful things as we unbox Hero Realms, The Ruins of Thandar. Hey everyone, welcome back to another HP Gaming Game Link video. My name is Matt and this is of course Shannon. And we are here today to do an unboxing for you, as we mentioned. Uh, for those of you who don't know a little bit of history about this, uh, first of all, we're going to be unboxing uh, some stuff to do with Hero Realms, which is a deck building game from White Wizard Games. Uh, it's an expansion to this game. So if you don't know a lot about Hero Realms, you can check out my top 10 deck building games. It is on that list. Um, and along with that, uh, Hero Realms had these expansions with character cards as well, and we're going to be referring to these throughout this video. Um, there was Wizards, Thieves, uh, Clerics, that sort of thing. In addition uh, to Hero Realms deck building game, there's also boss decks that you can both play as and fight against. Um, so we'll be talking about those as well. Uh, just as a bit of a heads up in case you hear some terminology and things that you wouldn't otherwise understand. But... We are here today to talk about Hero Realms, uh, the Ruins of Thandar, which is a campaign deck for the Hero Realms, or a campaign deck expansion for the Hero Realms deck building game. Uh, and this allows the game play to be taken from two to four players to one to five players. Yes, you can play it solo, and it changes the game from competitive to a cooperative experience. So it's something that I'm looking forward to doing because it means that you and I can take it to the bosses and fight the goblins and ogres yeah. and other things as well. Um, shared experience points in between adventures, which is very exciting too. Uh, enough said about that. Should we just get into it? Mm. What do you think? I talk too much, don't I? Mm. All right, we're going to get in there. Uh, won't be a long video today. It's going to be nice and quick and simple. For those of you who haven't played Hero Realms, uh, or Star Realms for that matter, uh, White Wizard Games has got a bit of a name for themselves in doing card games and things as well. Yeah. Charlotte's already ready to uh, cause some damage and things as well. Yeah. Where does the plastic go? On the floor. On the floor, that is right. But we're going to get into this sucker straight away. So Ruins of Thandar comes in a small box, but the same size as the Hero Realm box. It is a campaign deck, as you can see there. Still represents the four factions, as it is in Star Realms and Hero Realms as well. Uh, but there's a lot of goodies in here that we are very excited for. But the box art is pretty sick, too. We like that. Sick in a good way, of course. Whoa, there's two. There's two. Okay, so there you go. So in the book here, just as Charlotte has so eloquently pointed out, this is the rule book for the campaign. So this explains the differences between the actual deck building game, how it plays, what to do with the different decks, uh, how to level up your character and your starting deck uh, in between each of the campaign missions. And then inside Yay. here, don't look at it yet, no spoilers. <laughs> This is the adventure book. So this has all the nitty gritty um, the story elements, things like that. This is like your dungeon master manual, I guess, um, of all the different components and, and epilogues and things as well. So this is a complete campaign in a box, which is awesome. Wow. Okay, so first of all here we've got uh, what looks like baggies for everything, which is always awesome. We love it when people put baggies in things. And these are oversized cards. What do you think these might be for? They're for playing, very good, yes. And maybe um, some of them um, have like little points. Maybe, maybe there might be some points, but these cards here are actually the boss enemy cards. Oh. So these cards are used to um, take control. I won't show you all these. Oh, wow, check that out. What? Vexing Imp. Look at that. Look at that. Whoa, that's so big. It is. So because they've gone with the double-sized cards or oversized cards for the boss elements, they've been able to get some amazing artwork on these. Uh, as you can see there, they're pretty pretty amazing. Um, there's lots of goodies here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight different missions. And they will play differently based on the characters that you choose if you decide to choose a character. So your starting deck obviously may play differently as you level up. Um, very, very cool indeed. We'll keep those aside. You're right, what'd you do? Naughty card. Oh, that's okay. They're not even out of their deck yet. What I do like about the style of this box though, is that it looks like it's going to be able to fit some of the campaign elements in there uh, from the other character packs, which means... Uh, I'll be able to store them all rather than keeping them in their little uh, blisters there. So, 
Oh, look at that. The pull tabs are really great. We don't have to worry too much about those. That's cool. Charlie, oh. plastic goes on the floor. On the floor. So not a lot to the box. Um, literally just a card game, as, as obviously you're aware. I'm just trying to get this one open. So it looks like here I've got different um, class abilities for different fighters. So this looks like it's there for the warrior. And they're double sided as well. It looks like there's a, a male version and a female version, but they have different abilities depending on the card. So you can obviously use those to level up um, and change depending on um, your play style. Uh, I do like that the paladins and things as well allow for other bits and pieces, uh, uh, different abilities, healing potions, damage potions, etc. Uh, these look like they're all experience cards, character cards, and then we get into the normal cards. So we'll put these to the side. You're right, we'll get to that in a minute. We'll open this one first. So these ones have the standard Hero Realms deck building deck on them. So these are for the main um, deck here, uh, different guard abilities, different faction points. And different, I guess, features that you can use for the different characters. There's the um, boss card we saw before, so they must become standard enemies in later games. So this, these decks here are probably actually made up of um, AI decks that uh, you play well, against. Yeah. Extra damage treasures there, I've got it. pilfer, abilities that you can draw, and they're double-sided as well. The artwork's fantastic. I mean, I love Hero Realms as a general rule, but this is just taking it to the next level, which is brilliant. Charlotte's working her way through that uh, done. pull tab. Good job, well done. And then you've got here different fighting abilities, extra health hit points as well uh, for the wizard class, both male and female, which I really like too. There's no sexist card play here. I got Put mine. That to the side. All right, do you want to hold that one up there? We'll have a look through those cards. Ooh, what do you want me to do? Yeah. Can I pull out the card today? Flame Burst. Check that out. Good job. So we've got a couple of different fire blasts and fireballs and things as well. So Whoa, these cards allow for fight. lots of things. It's a uh, wizard um, champion skill that allows him to draw an extra card okay. at any time. Okay. The good thing is too with Hero Realms and the campaign, there's another campaign coming out, another campaign uh, expansion, which is going to be fantastic. Uh, here we go, we've got some new treasure cards, treasure chest decks Ooh, okay. as well. I love treasure. Lots of different things. I think you need a lot of area to set this up because you'll need a standard game uh, for the deck builder to add to your deck. But these cards are all elements that you can add to campaigns, uh, add to the campaign um, and the different adventures. So these cards are predominantly not um, center market cards. These are all cards for the different enemies that you'll face as you play through each mission in the campaign. As I said, there's eight different bosses to fight as well, uh, and you level up between each one, which is awesome. I was just getting my drink for a little Sorry, you're allowed, you're allowed. Yep. It's the benefit of homeschooling is that I've got someone to play all these games with, which is fantastic. Yes. So the adventure book here, um, obviously it's, again, pretty straightforward how it all works. Okay. Um, this one here, hang on, I'm talk this. leave them there for now, that's it. Uh, story elements, different chapter points as well. I don't want to go through too much of it. We might try and get some playthroughs in as well. Um, but as I said, it, it's basically a, an add-on to Hero Realms. You will need the base game to play this. You can't just play it on its own. It's not a standalone expansion. Um, there is some talk that you will need character class packs as well. I don't think that's the case. I think it's preferred because you can then uh, customize the game more to your liking with the, the character packs like the wizard. Um, so I don't think it's essential. I think the the Ruins of Thandar is a lot of replayability. As I said, it changes the game from competitive to cooperative, which we really like. Um, but at the same time, I, I don't know, I, I think the, the different campaign styles, the artwork, the artwork of the cards uh, is, uh, is, is pretty fantastic. Um, and we're looking forward to getting it to the table. And the fact that it's playable as a one-player game too excites me as well, because I do like my solo gameplay. Um, but that's pretty much all there is to it for the Hero Realms deck building game Ruins of Thandar campaign deck. Uh, it's literally just another set of cards that you can use to expand your gameplay and take it to the next level. And we look forward to getting that to the table, don't we? Ready? Yes, sure. Um, if you just play this by yourself, you would just get defeated. You? If I play it on my own, I'll get defeated. You're yeah. saying you need to lend me your help. 
you need to join me on this epic quest. <laughs> or maybe that's something we can do. Um, right now though, we're going to get set up and we're going to try and get another video done uh, while Blair is having a bit of a nap. And uh, we'll see how we go, but thank you very much for watching. Uh, stay in touch, uh, hit that notifications button, subscribe so you can stay in touch with all the videos when we post something new. Uh, and check out our Patreon as well if you haven't already. Um, you'll see some amazing things up there and get an early access to all the videos and specials that we offer too. Uh, other than that, it's uh, goodbye from me and it's goodbye from, bye bye. from Charlotte. And we'll see you back at the table very soon. Bye for now.